Hi. In this video, I'll explain about terrestrial telescopes, those used on Earth. And let's take a look at an ancient telescope. It had a tripod stand, an articulating hinge, and a long set of tubes. Our modern terrestrial telescopes have three convex lenses, as against just two for astronomical lenses. Let's look at an animation. The rays come in through the objective lens, form intermediate images, two of them, and finally the eyes project that to form a large vertical and magnified image. Let's look at it once again. We have the principal axis, the white line. We draw the three convex lenses. The rays from the distant object strike the objective lens at an angle, form intermediate image one, then form intermediate image two, and the eyes project that to form the final image, which is erect and magnified. Let's take it step by step. Now the rays from the distant object need not always be parallel to the principal axis. So depending upon the size of the object, they could be at an angle from the extremities of the object. So we draw the green and blue rays at an angle. Uh, actually they are white light rays and the colors here are only to visualize it. And they form an inverted image shown by an arrow. I couldn't draw a pirate ship here. And the arrow is formed on the focal plane of the objective lens. Then this arrow becomes the object for the second lens, which will form a secondary image later on. Now a word about the focal lens. The objective lens, the first one, has a long focal length shown as FO. The second lens, called the erector lens, has a short focal length shown here as F. And the third lens, which is the eyepiece lens, will have the shortest focal length and I'll show it in the next slide as FE. So now we have understood the formation of the first intermediate image. Now we can see how the second intermediate image has been formed. The erector lens has done its job and it has made the inverted image erect. And that's the second arrow we are looking at at a distance FE from the eyepiece lens. In fact, the eyepiece lens can be adjusted uh, so that it comes to the focal length. Now, the eye is positioned in such a way that the erect arrow forms an image nearly at infinity. In principle, if an object is placed at the focal length of a convex lens, the rays coming out of the convex lens will be parallel and the image is formed in infinity. Now for the purpose of a ray diagram, we can't show things at infinity. So I have shown the rays are slightly diverging. So when we project them backwards using dotted lines, we get the image formed as shown here. So the magnified arrow, which is erect there, demonstrates the enlarged image of the object on which the telescope is aimed at. Incidentally, terrestrial telescopes means that they can be used to see objects on Earth. Astronomical telescopes are used to see very distant objects in space, like planets and stars. Now we will summarize this discussion that the terrestrial telescope came in after the astronomical telescope was discovered. And the credit goes to Johannes Kepler, who 400 years back inserted the third convex lens the erector lens to make the images erect for use on Earth. This is one of the main differences between the two types of telescopes. I hope this presentation was uh, useful for you. Thanks and have a great day.